Who has midterms this week? Just curious. 3 30. Who, who has them like next week? 2 o'clock. Anyone next week? <laughs> Still guys. What about last week? That's my sons. Okay, so this one, the presentation I'm doing today isn't really, well, it's kind of like a presentation, but it's a little bit of a rant. Because I've been seeing a lot of stuff recently, and oh, I've been seeing a lot of stuff online recently, just like reading through some stuff, and there are just a few little things that have been like, not bugging me, but just, you know, making me wonder why. And so, you know, I was like, a newscaster, I totally call this channel APSA, but I'm not, so I'm just going to pretend, so you guys pretend with me, okay? So, the next slide. So, how many people heard about the Dragon Ball movie that's coming up? Boo, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, are you excited? I don't know. But anyway, so it's called Dragon Ball Evolution, and for you guys who have like, you know, avid followers of the Dragon Ball series, anime or manga, you know that it's from Japan. And so lately there's been a little bit of racial controversy with some of the upcoming movies. Dragon Ball Evolution coming out April 9th is one of them. And so, you know, like I said, it's a live action movie based on the popular Japanese anime manga, and it's directed by James Wong, who's known for doing movies such as Final Destination and The One. How many of you have seen Final Destination? Yeah. Keep your hands up if you like this. Ooh, okay, what about The One? Anybody see The One? Do you guys like The One too? Okay, so maybe you like this movie. But then the thing is, they casted Justin Chatwin for Goku. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that, like, you know, it's good that every star has an opportunity to start a role, but at the same time, it would be cool if they also cast, maybe casted a Japanese actor, or yeah. one or a star of Goku. Seriously. Because I think Goku <laughs> Alright, the next one I have is Airbender. Who heard of, who've ever watched Avatar? I watched Anyone it. Watched Avatar? A lot more people have Okay, so I kind of had a lot of stuff in this slide, but I wanted to talk about is another movie with similar but a little bit worse casting issues is Avatar. And, you know, if you guys don't know what Avatar is, it's one of Nickelodeon's hit cartoons, and it's directed by M. Night Ch Shyamalan. Who knows who M. Night Shyamalan is? Anyone seen The Village, Stuart Little, Sixth Sense, or Signs? Anyone have, like, a favorite among those movies that they like? Stuart Little. Um, and so, one thing is, that's, that's um, the picture of the avatar and some of the main characters within the cartoon on the right. And on the left, it's a casting, like, casting call for extras. And, um, one of the things is, I didn't, I didn't include this casting picture in it, but in another one I saw, it says that, it says that when they're casting extras, they want people of full Korean, full Chinese, and full Mongolian descent, not just those three, but the other Eastern Asian ethnicities. But the main cast was predominantly Caucasian. No, no, no. Ah, ah! Too far. And so, another thing too is in this one to the left, on the um, cast for the extras, it said you are asked to dress casually or in traditional costumes of your family's ethnic background. And so to an extent, it's kind of saying like, oh, you know, we don't really mind, like, you know, as long as you're Asian, as long as you dress in your family's ethnic background, like a costume, then it's fine. And at the same time, you know, some people might not have a problem with it, but some people might be thinking, wait, so you're going to label us just like, you know, by the way we come dressed, the way we're perceived? I'm not good. And then also, I didn't include it here, but one of the main casting directors for M. Night Shyamalan in this movie, her name is... Dee Dee Rickhoff, and she said, in quotes that I didn't include here, sorry again, you guys, but in quotes it's something said, you know, if you're from if you're from Ireland, you can come wearing a kilt, but if you're from Korea, you can come wearing a kimono. And so I'm just thinking there's a little bit of co like cultural discrepancy over there. But like I said, the main cast was strictly Caucasian until the person who played Zuko, do you guys know who Zuko is? Yeah. The person who played Zuko was traditionally Jesse McCartney, but they dropped him and replaced him with Slumdog Millionaire. David. Yeah! So if you guys see Slumdog Millionaire, it's a pretty awesome movie. If you guys have listened to Jesse McCartney, he has some good songs. And so the next slide, the, another one I wanted to talk about was casting like this have also been seen in movies that have already originally came out. How many of you guys have seen 21? No, no green. No green. Did you guys have seen 21? Okay. Did you know it was based on the house? Did you read the book? 
I forget. You, because you're nodding to everything. I really like that. But, yeah, so the book is pretty good. If you like here, in the book, Bring Down the House, um, the main character is named Kevin Lewis. And I, I remember clearly in the book that he was an Asian, Asian-American character. But I was surprised when I saw the movie because my the main dream. character, the captain, was Caucasian. And I was just thinking, I'm like, wait, 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 wasn't the, wasn't the main protagonist in the novel Asian? So, you know, I took out the book, I checked it out, and yeah, it was. But again, this is another casting deficiency. And let's see. What I remember is, though, Kevin Lewis, the Asian, Asian-American protagonist in the book, was based off the man to this side of me, which is the left side of you. And his name is Jeff Ma. And so, Ring Down the House was based on Jeff Ma. And luckily for Jeff Ma, he was able to make a cameo appearance in the movie 21 which I found pretty neat. But also it had Aaron Yu in it too, and so that was some pretty good representation. All right. And then this is Breaking News. This was a special request too, with Carla Munar. <laughs> with me and Vanessa. <laughs> okay. And so, recently, I don't know if you guys heard, but there's been home invasions sexual and sexual assaults, and they appear to be related. Five home invasions and sexual assaults appear related. They usually target Asian, Asian American women. So the first robbery dates back to June 6, near SDSU. I don't know how many of you guys are aware of that, or at least heard of the incidents. And in each case, each woman was confronted with a man with a knife, and the man demanded money. So how many of you guys have heard of this case before? About a few of you guys. All right. So next slide. So in the four cases, the women were sexually assaulted or threatened with sexual assault. The second robbery was near UCSD. The third was near Terrasana. The fourth was near Whispering Hills Lanes. Does anybody know where that is? Because I don't really know Whispering Hills Lanes. No. Next to Yelling Hills. So where? <laughs> Silent Hills. <laughs> Silent Hills. <laughs> and, and the fifth was in Carmel View Road. And so, this is a drawn picture of the suspect because they don't know exactly what he looks like. But they suspect him to be a Hispanic man in late 20s or early 30s. At least five, eight, five feet, eight inches tall, with either a skinny or a mediumish build. And so, just so you guys keep a lookout, the police warns that. Thank you, thank you. The police advise that residents should keep their doors locked, pay attention to oh. the surroundings, and if, you know, if drive around the block if they see someone following them or loitering around their house. If the person is still there, drive away and notify the police. You know, this is. This is me caring about all of you guys with special requests from Jarrell to care about you guys a lot more too. And so, the next one. So back to my original thief. This is, a, this is just <laughs> purely opinion. But I saw this and I wanted to see what you guys think. This is an ice cream choice from a shop in Lima, Peru. <laughs> this guy knows Chino and ice cream is called Chini. So, um, some people view it as racist, some people view it as funny. I view it as kind of tasty, and I just hope <laughs> you guys are entitled to whatever you want to believe, but I just want to throw this out there. And then, I think one of the last things I want to talk about in my little rant is this one. Pixar is coming up with a new movie called Up. And so it's about a 70-year-old man named Carl who goes on an adventure in a flying house. And it comes out May 29th, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen Pixar movies, and really, they always impress. And so the added incentive I wanted to say to this was that it's, there's like a kid accompanying Carl, this cute chubby Asian kid named Russell. And as opposed to in the past when they'd have like an Asian kid and they'd be like, oh hi, me Carlo. You know, something like that. <laughs> this person has no fake Asian accent. And I saw the trailer, it's pretty impressive. I'm really excited to go out and see it. And so that's it for my presentation, rant, etc., etc. I hope you guys enjoyed.